Hello and welcome to week six of my free Tarot for Beginners course. I'm so excited that you're here and I'm so excited if you've watched all the videos and you've made it to week six, you're pretty much halfway. So if you're enjoying it, and I really hope you are enjoying it as much as I am delivering it, um, I do hope that you're also learning lots about the tarot and feeling like you've got a sense of what the tarot is about because that's the purpose of the course, more so than actually teaching you the individual cards, although we will do some work on that. Um, I've, I've got other free courses in my um, community that you can do to help you learn the cards in a really effortless way. Um, so if you love my work, come and join us for this uh, Tarot for Beginners course connect with your deck.com forward slash beginners. It will show you the workbook, which you can choose to purchase or not. It's up to you. Um, it will show you um, my Tarot Lovers community on Facebook and also invite you to be part of my free members community where you've, there's lots of goodies to download to help you learn the tarot. So if you love my work, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it really does uh, help the channel out. And of course, hit that subscribe button, um, hit the notifications bell, that's what I meant to say, and give me a thumbs up because that also helps YouTube to know that you like what I'm doing and they'll push it more through the, um, through the newsfeed and that certainly helps me as well. So what are we going to be talking about? We're actually dipping into the Kabbalah. So I'm sure as you have wandered around the web, you've seen this. Hang on, I've got to find it. You've seen this, the Tree of Life. So the Tree of Life is actually uh, links into sacred geometry. It links into the Macabre Star. You may have heard of the Macabre Star. Um, it links into all of the sacred geometry, the um, seed of life, the um, the tree, the, the actual tree of life pattern. Um, and it also is part of the Kabbalah. Now the Kabbalah is sort of um, comes from the Jewish religion. It's a form of Jewish religion. And it is very spiritual and has sort of two forms. There's more the, the very um, orthodox Jewish form of Kabbalah. And then there is the esoteric wisdom form of Kabbalah. And we're going to be talking about that. And I'm going to be showing you the tree of life and showing you how the cards sit on the tree of life. Now, Kabbalah is, and the Jewish religion, is an extremely deep, detailed religion that has a lot of esoteric um, meanings and understandings that go with it. So I am, I've never been trained in this. I've just read books. So I'm going to take you into this space in terms of giving you another pathway to understanding the tarot and understanding how the tarot sits on the tree of life. I'm contemplating whether I'm going to have a go at doing a deeper course on the Kabbalah because it is actually a whole course in and of itself to understand how the cards sit on the tree of life, which of course, this was all first thought about um, by Eliphas Levi. Actually, he was the one that first started to think about how the Kabbalah, the Tree of Life and the Tarot might all merge together. So if that's something that interests you and you've looked at the Tree of Life floating around and maybe bought some cheat sheets and thought, I just do not know what I'm looking at, stay tuned because I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to use my workbook to do it, um, which looks like this. And we've also got I'll probably use the workbook that's my actual workbook in my hands, I think. Or I might even print some pages. I'll see, because I think I'm going to be drawing all over it and showing you all sorts of little things to do with the um, the Tree of Life to just 
orientate you into it. If you are interested in the deeper meanings of how the cards and the meanings from the Tree of Life work together, then a good a uh, free course for you to do is my tarot symbolism course. There's a whole playlist you can cherry pick which cards you want to have a look at, whether it's just the major arcana or just one of the minor arcana suits, whether it's wands, cups, swords or pentacles. Um, so I'll put some links down there for you to be able to connect in with that as well. So let's spin the camera around and have a look at tarot and the tree of life. So we are up to the next section of our course on Tarot for Beginners and we're going to be looking at the Tree of Life because I don't think we can talk about the Tarot without understanding a little bit about the Tree of Life, why the Tree of Life is significant and and how it relates to the Tarot. Um, look, did I find it life-changing to place all the cards onto the Tree of Life and look at all of the Jewish letters, etc.? Probably not. I actually think it's the astrology that actually really engaged me in terms of tarot symbolism. That and Pamela Coleman Smith's images. But I do think it is important to know about the Tree of Life so when it goes past you, when you're doing your reading, you have a sense of what it is that people are talking about when they're talking about the tarot. So this is my Tarot for Beginners journal. For those of you who've just found me, it comes in three different formats. We've got um, this format, which is a printable format for you to print at home and file and draw all over and whatever else. We've got this format where you can click here and it will take you back um, into each section of the journal and you can flick like that that you can use on good notes and we are going down here to the tree of life and we also have and that's good notes and you can use an apple pencil and you can draw and all sorts of things we also have a print on demand version that's my little bookmark don't take any notice of that where you can actually print the book and have all of the pages in your hand so, I've just got this here in case I need it. Let's have a look at the Tree of Life. So, what is the Tree of Life? And if we talk about it from a big picture perspective, and I've created this here for you to actually look at, um, the symbols on the Tree of Life help you to develop a closer relationship with your spirit, with your inner sense of who you are, your sense of self, your purpose in the world. That's the reason why it's we, we learn about it. The tree of life reminds you that there are many paths to realize your higher self and it is your own personal experience. The tree of life shows you transformation the cycles of life. And we know that the tarot is about transformation. It's about karma. It's about life cycles. Um, from birth, adulthood, old age, and finally death. The tree of life models creation, how nothing and everything can manifest into the physical world through the birth of the world. And Kabbalah in particular, and I'm not a specialist in Kabbalah, so please be kind to me as I take you through the tree of life. It is about how life began with sound, this idea of the Big Bang, the start of everything. Um, the Tree of Life teaches us that life can be stable, conscious and real, whilst at the same time constantly changing and unconscious. And this is something, of course, with the Tree of Life, with the tarot in particular, that we're tapping, we're, we're using our conscious self through the cards to try and tap into our unconscious self to get deeper to what's going on for us in the world. And when we see someone that reads the cards for us, that's what we are, we're asking them to do. We're asking them, what can you see that I can't see? Um, where are we? 
The Tree of Life details the 10 aspects of one spiritual presence and how these aspects are both separate and together to form a Godhead that is rep, uh, omnip, omnipresent or everything and nothing all at the same time. So think uh, universal energy, spirit, God, whatever you want to call it. It's a description of that greater energy. The Tree of Life is our guide for living how we become the best version of ourselves as we live in the physical world. So again, it's a this idea of all religions having this moral code. The tree of life shows us how your personality develops from unconscious to conscious and forms a relationship with our innermost sense of self and our spirit. Studying the tree of life in the Kabbalah gives you a greater understanding of each tarot card. And the tarot cards are placed on the tree of life. There's 10 spheres, which are the seraphot, and there are 32 paths or the paths of wisdom. So I've got the history of the tree of life here and the association of the tarot um, with the tree of life and then the minor part and major paths of wisdom. So I'm just going to sort of have a bit of a chat and then I'm going to show you a little bit about what the tree of life is and how it everything all fits together. If you want to know more detail on the meanings of the um, of each one of the Hebrew letters and the pathways, it's all in the workbook. It's quite detailed. It would be a whole course in itself. And I am looking at doing a whole course just on the Tree of Life for those of you who are interested. I have done currently a series on the symbolism of each tarot card. And I do go into detail in explaining the Kabbalistic and Jewish letters for each one of the cards. So if you're interested in that, I will put a link to the... Um, the symbolism, the tarot symbolism playlist um, in the comments, in the comments and in the description box. And I will also, also, if you join my newsletter list, connect with your deck.com forward slash newsletter, you'll receive those videos um, as a reminder to go and do some tarot study, essentially. Um, that's what I send out to everybody about once a week. So I try not to bombard people with too many emails, particularly because all of my courses are email based. If you want to join Tarot for um, Beginners, um, which is my free course, this is uh, week six of that course, um, then I would strongly recommend that you go to connectwithyourdeck.com forward slash beginners to join because you get all of the extra goodies that go along with the course. So what is the tree of life? What is it actually? It's sacred geometry. So think about seed of life, flower of life. Think about sacred geometry. If I could, I actually have, if I go over here, I might be able to put my hand, oh, I can. I've got a sacred geometry oracle card deck here. And I'll just show you quickly what I mean by sacred geometry. Whoops, oh, go for a slide, Elizabeth. So. Sacred geometry is are the images that come from, remember I talked about the Greek god Hermes. And the Greek god Hermes, um, so we're looking at this sort of thing, shapes, shapes that all fit together. The Greek god Hermes um, was the first, th those hermetic documents from um, Greek mythology are the first iterations that we have of sacred geometry. This is the deck, the sacred geometry oracle deck. So if we talk about Hermetic Kabbalah, that's where the Kabbalah is linking back those Jewish letters and, and, and concepts are linking back to those original Hermetic documents. So it's sacred geometry. And it helps us, as I said, find that connection between the conscious and unconscious world. And it basically is designed to help us understand something that we can't grasp. That idea of the Big Bang, everything and nothing, three and one, um, is just enormous. You know, mind, body, spirit, all of that that repeats through so many religions is so huge to grasp. And the Tree of Life helps us to understand that. What is the Kabbalah? 
It's a form of Jewish mysticism that evolved from the 12th and 13th century and it was modernised in the 18th century by Isaac Luria. And it increased in popularity with the involvement of Madonna and Britney Spears who got involved in this particular um, esoteric study um, and, and, and it became very popularised. So there's two streams of Kabbalah. There's the traditional Jewish Kabbalah and then there's the non-Jewish Kabbalah which we are studying which came from the 17th century original um, Kabbalah but as hermetic occultists so we're thinking about Eliphas Levi and Papus for example that I've talked to you about started to study these manuscripts independently of Jewish scholars and translate them and make sense to, of them in, more, of a, in a more secular way, we started to, to develop this hermetic Kabbalah that links the tarot into the whole um, structure of the Tree of Life and the Kabbalah in particular. The Kabbalah is enormous. I have literally dipped my toe in the water to explain it to you. Um, so who first attributed the tarot to the Kabbalah? And that was Court de Jebelin and Comte de Millet in that um, encyclopedia that they put out. And Comte de Millet was the first person to attribute the trumps um, to the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. And then it was Eliphas Levi who expanded on these ideas. But of course... The moment anyone said to him, are you sure that you didn't um, attribute, uh, you didn't um, read that encyclopedia? He said, no, wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. This is all my idea. And look, he did do, he did expand on it a lot. So that's a potted version of all this section here. So the major paths of wisdom is where the major, the minor arcana, sorry, the major paths of wisdom are where the minor arcana are placed on the seraphot and the major arcana um, are the minor paths of wisdom and these are placed on the paths. And I again, I talk about these in my tarot symbolism video series, which has a whole cheat, lot of cheat sheets attached to it. And look, it's something that's nice to know. It really is. Um, I'm still thinking about whether I'm going to expand on the Tree of Life and do a course in it. it I'm going to be honest, it hasn't grabbed me, but I do want to know about it because when I'm off reading, I need to understand it because some writers go into it in detail, it's often to explain other things, etc. So if here I've got the minor paths of wisdom. So these are the 22 paths of the major arcana and they look, you can see here I've explained the letters here that sit on all of the paths and they look like this. So what I've actually done for you is place the cards onto the minor paths for you so you can actually see what it looks like. And this is something that you can reproduce for yourself if you really want to. You can print the page out and have a really good look at it. Um, then we have the major paths of wisdom, which are the seraphot, which are these little things here. And you can see I've got quite a lot of detail here for you to follow through and read. And um, these are the these are the these little seraphot, they actually emanate energy. The paths transfer the energy and the seraphot emanate the em energy, and the energy is a reflection of of the greater universal energy. So here you can see I've placed all of the minor arcana onto the seraphot so you can see how that they all fit there. And so if you want to know a little bit more detail about the meaning for each card, um, that's all in the in the journal as in, in the uh, Tarot for Beginners workbook, which I'll make sure there's a link down in the comments for you to have a look at. Um, and then from there, if you wanted to go on with more study, you'd be looking at the patterns of the energy as they move through the tree of life. And there is 
lots of information that you can study about that if you want to go further into understanding the tree of life and how it actually all works in terms of um, understanding the energetic pathways. Will it help you learn the tarot? I'm not sure. It's beautiful to study. Um, I think you're going to get a lot more just out of looking at the individual um, Jewish letters and Jewish words and the pathways where the um, where the cards are placed. And I've got all of that in a nutshell there for you in the workbook. So that is it from me about the Tree of Life. I hope that's helpful to you. There is more detail, as I said, in the workbook. This is just a start for you. And, um, and I hope to see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about my favorite thing, and that is tarot and astrology. Don't forget, if you want more detail and want to be part of my free community, connect with your deck.com forward slash beginners. I can't wait to get to know you. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.